Hi there, this is Aroma, a renewable energy passionate from India. And I love to talk about renewable energy, especially solar power. We have provided an enormous source of power, the sun. And I believe that sun is enough to power the entire planet. And today I'm going to explain one of the most beautiful solar power harvesting technology. The CSP, Concentrated Solar Thermal Power Plants. There are different types of concentrated solar thermal power plants. But today I'm going to explain power tower type CSP. And to make my explanation unique and effective, I have created a model. Let me show you. This is the model that I have created to explain the working principle of a CSP. There are 96 heliostats which are used to concentrate sunlight. It's beautiful, right? It took a lot of hard work. Okay, now let me explain how this works. The concentrated solar thermal power plant produces electricity from the heat from the sun's rays. It's an effective source of large-scale energy production. Firstly, a solar farm is made up of heliostats. These are computer-controlled mirrors which follow the movement of the sun in order to best reflect its rays towards the central point throughout the day. A solar farm can include from several hundred to several thousand heliostats which communicate with each other over Wi-Fi in order to optimize the yield. These heliostats reflect and concentrate sunlight onto a large heat exchanger called receiver that sits on top of a tower which is located in the center of the solar farm. Within the receiver, fluid flows through the piping that forms the external walls. This fluid absorbs the heat from the concentrated sunlight. In this technology, the fluid utilized is molten salt containing chemical components whose thermal properties are of particular interest. It's an ideal heat capture medium because it maintains a wider operating temperature range in the liquid state, allowing the system to operate at low pressure for superior and safe energy capture and storage. The cold molten salt stored in a tank at the base of the tower are pumped up to the top where they are heated to very high temperature. Then they go down to a second thermal storage tank where the energy is stored in the form of high temperature molten salt until the electricity is needed. This thermal storage tank can store this energy to maintain electricity production for several hours after sunset. This technology leverages liquid molten salt as both the energy collection and the storage mechanism, which allows it to separate energy collection from electricity generation. When the electricity is required by the utility day or night, the high temperature molten salt flows from the thermal storage tank to the steam generator as water is piped in from the water storage tank to generate the steam. Once the hot molten salt is used to generate the steam, the cool molten salt is then piped back into the cold storage tank where it will flow back up the receiver to be reheated as the process continues. After the steam is used to drive the steam turbine, it is condensed back to water and returned to the water holding tank from where it will be pumped back into the steam generator when needed. The result is a high quality superheated steam to drive the standard steam turbine at maximum efficiency to generate reliable non-intermittent electricity during peak demand hours. The molten salt makes it possible to store heat and therefore energy. This makes the plant operational day and night up to 24 hours a day. The steam generation process is identical to the process used in conventional gas, coal or nuclear power plants except that it is 100% renewable with zero harmful emissions or waste. These plants provide on-demand reliable electricity from a renewable source, the sun. Thank you for watching this video. If you really enjoy this video, please click the like button and the red subscribe button below this video to get my latest updates right in your homepage and comment your opinion about this video and my explanation. I'm waiting for your comment.